a tease of Trump cabinet appointments campaign. Romney dined with Trump Tuesday night at the swanky Jean George's restaurant at the Trump International Hotel in Columbus Circle last week and could very well have the inside track for the job. Haley called on Republicans to reject the angriest voices, an obvious nod to Trump, who tweeted, The people of South Carolina are embarrassed by Nikki Haley. But the New York Times said Bannon, more than previous, was better able to talk forcefully to the president-elect during difficult moments. But the group and the president-elect also hold conflicting views over key issues including Iran policy, Medicare, and immigration raising the risk of infighting and fractiousness both within the administration and with Congress. Likewise, Trump rewarded campaign booster Wilbur Ross with his nod to be Commerce Secretary. Haley was also critical of Trump during the campaign and even drew a rebuke on Twitter from then-candidate Trump after she delivered the Republican response to Obama's State of the Union address in 2015. Nevertheless, we lost respect for your journalistic integrity due to the predominance of negative pieces about Donald Trump, especially given the flaws in both candidates. View photos President-elect Donald Trump faces a challenge as he prepares for his move to the White House, selecting the men and women who will fill his administration. It seems many of the same voices, so eager to avail us of their personal brilliance in handicapping the election, are now focused on once again, sharing their presumably equally brilliant projections and instant conclusions forecasting anticipate performance of the cabinet. By finding ways to undermine him by finding fault with his cabinet selection, the mainstream media seem determined to promote divisiveness and class warfare. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease second mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.